welcome to the sociology channel in this lecture we are discussing about social structure and my objective is to teach you to learn how to see because sociological imagination is the most important thing in sociology so you must be able to see into society and to begin with that i am sharing this image with you there is a person x he catches his wife into adultery he was not able to control his rage and he murdered her but now listen to this fact sincerely x has never been violent in the past x has never troubled any person x never hit his wife no one thinks that x is a danger to society and his wife is already dead now she could not be brought back to life x is not going to murder anyone because the only reason he murdered his wife was that he caught her into adultery since x is now not posing any danger to any member in the society why x should be met with a punishment think about the reasons that x in our present society is generally met with the punishment what is the reason behind awarding punishment to x well immanuel kant would say that on the ground of morality whatever x has done is not right and i will extend the argument we could say that that is one of the reason that x that x should be given punishment but then ever x need not be imprisoned because now he is not posing any threat to any other member in the society so now we are starting to appreciate this point that x should be met with punishment because of moralistic grounds because of ethics or maybe some believers would say that because god want him to be punished what we are discussing here is that x needs to be punished because x has disturbed the social structure of the society if x is not awarded with the punishment if x is not imprisoned the basic presence of x is disturbing the social structure of the society the incidence of x going unpunished may create a threat in future some other members of the society will see that if i will murder my wife i will not get punished this is one of the biggest danger to the society so to maintain a proper social structure to maintain a proper decorum in society x needs to be met with punishment x needs to be imprisoned he may not be a immediate threat to society he may not be a immediate danger to the society but no one has seen the future that is what society thinks besides 
he needs to be presented as some kind of picture in front of the society that if you commit some act you see the repercussions in one of the in one of the famous book punishment and social structure it is discussed that punishment comes as an indicator of social structure although punishment is several other things punishment is also political foucault has also discussed about punishment in several formats in his book discipline and punish he also discusses about and actually extends the discussion started by jeremy bentham regarding panopticon so when we are talking about social structure this book punishment and social structure is also one of the most important book understand this you can see this image you will look at the image and you will see that many of the things are still under construction maybe some real estate builder is building a very huge apartment in nearby area but the problem with the buyer is that how the buyer is going to travel so the real estate builder says that a road is going to come up a cut would be made into the road at the distance of 500 meter from this apartment and you would be able to immediately ex ex walk on this expressway travel on this expressway metro station is coming nearby at some 1 km distance from your apartment there is already a petrol pump school what i am arguing is that the residents are going to buy that apartment buy a flat in that apartment or would be willing to move into that apartment and create a society only if certain physical structures are nearby who creates this structure who thinks of such an idea that since i have already constructed the apartment the government would plan to build some road here why this real estate builder is having such confidence whether there is already some approved structure and then real estate builder starts building such apartments we need to understand that who is building such structures who is deciding that such structures meet success say for example the builder has already started constructing huge apartments in certain area and the government thinks that no i am not going to build roads here what will happen then will the apartment meet with a requisite success if government decides not to provide access with transport facility public transport facility like buses metro will the construction of such huge apartments will meet success understand the importance of structure here also see by looking at physical structure that who is controlling such structures use it as a metaphor physical structure to abstraction learn about moving 
from one space to another. That is how we will learn to see. That is how we are going to develop our sociological imagination. Can we choose structures or we are given with structures and we need to be into those structures? Be it buildings, apartments, infrastructure, roads, other facilities like schools, hospitals, shopping complexes. Can we choose those structures or we are given with those structures? Now, walk to society. Can we choose our social structure or we are given with those structures? If a particular society has a conception about arranged marriage, certain marriage which is fixed by the family members and the bride and grooms have not met each other do not know each other, is not in love with each other before marriage. Now, can a person transgress this boundary and be at peace with it? How the person transgresses those boundaries secures his choice of entering into so-called love marriage whereby the bride and groom marries each other because they are in love with each other before marrying themselves. Understand this. Let us discuss about Durkheim. Durkheim says that Society has primacy over the individual person as it is more than the sum of individual acts. My individual biography is important, but it has to lie on the historical line. Society has primacy over me because it is a sum of individual acts. Social structure sets limit. That limit is external to the individual. If government has set limit, that in certain area, government is not going to build roads it has put an external limit. I will not be able to access the apartment which I have bought. Society is putting such external limits over the individual. That is what Durkheim is discussing here. Before thinking about everything here, or everything whatever Durkheim has said throughout in sociology, just look at how Durkheim is for this, these two sentences only, how Durkheim is looking at social structure, individual, lesser than social, because social is a sum of individual acts, structure, external this image is from the movie tare jami pe you can see a male he is the father of the family in the backdrop you can see female the mother and a child they are returning after dropping their children uh, child after dropping their sing one child at a boarding school. The decision to put that child in the boarding school was taken by the father. 
you can see from the face of the father the kind of burden he is feeling his other son is able to seek comfort in with the mother mother is sad mother could cry but the father has to bear it he could not share his pain with anyone else you can see the tremendous pain which is reflecting on his face but he could not cry he could not say that he is also under compulsion to put his child in a boarding school because his child is in primary grade and in india the one who has not done well in primary grade could not reach university if one could not reach university one could not have a normal subsistence wage in india the father is troubled can you see this now we will connect it with the learning which we will take from talcott parsons understand the social structure which has trained father not to cry trained mother to follow the decision taken by the head of the family who is father the children who has to obey but the father himself is also under pain why who put compulsion on father that is the question again this scene is from the same movie tare jami pe the father the entire family came to visit the son who is uh, the son and the brother who is living at this boarding hostel you can see the principal of the school standing there you can see the family and from this image you can gauge how this child is having some structure around him you can see from the body language of the child who is living at the boarding hostel boarding school that he is showing some kind of resentment but see the manner in which he is so showing the resentment understand how social structure is present here how everyone is working in the same manner he or she is supposed to work what if one deviates from the normal expected course like in the movie once the movie progresses further the child who is living in school living in this hostel deviates from the normal set course the same movie we are discussing about robert k merton we are discussing about talcott parsons and all of these people are generally in syllabus of all the examinations all the grades which you in which you study sociology learn to connect it so that you are not required to memorize it you are supposed to enjoy sociology across world the most enjoyable discipline is sociology that's why instead of sharing certain bullets for you to remember i always try to show you the actual picture which is actually happening in society that's the way to study sociology that's how you will develop sociological imagination that's how you will learn to actually see
now when we are talking about structure we are talking about father we are talking about principal in school how we can miss this the overarching identity god in some religion the god also comes as father father of the family how it changes how it impacts social structure this is a image of hunter and gatherers society people in certain pose so do we think that they were having some kind of social structure or the social structure is a very recent phenomenon into the society of humans think about it and then proceed further well they must be having some form of social structure social structure from one society may differ from another society maybe due to degree due to its complexity but they are having some kind of social structure what kind that is something to be discussed that is something to be studied and argued and understood now so what we see this is a definition from giddens although giddens is one of the master of social structure so i have just over simplified whatever giddens argues interrelation or arrangement of parts in some social entity understand this arrangement parts social entity that is how social structure is functioning nidal says that social structure is like network he is giving us the conception of network this is needed to be understood even before you start your learning of sociology that how a phrase social structure will come to you at different place how you are going to understand this now a very important question social structure this word structure is singular or plural it is social structures or social structure see this video in which america's popular author james baldwin was asked this question and how he responds identify the social structure here how he is putting social structure identify in this video and you have more in common with a white author than you have with someone who's against all literature so why must we always concentrate on color or on religion or this there are other ways of connecting men i'll tell you this when i left this country in 1948 I left this country for one reason only, one reason. I didn't care where I went. I might have gone to Hong Kong, I might have gone to Timbuktu, I ended up in Paris, on the streets of Paris. With $40 in my pocket on the theory that nothing worse could happen to me there than it already happened to me here. 
You talk about making it as a writer by yourself, you had to be able then to turn up all the antenna with which you live because once you turn your back on this society, you may die. You may die. And it's very hard to be a typewriter and concentrate on that if you're afraid of the world around you. The years I lived in Paris did one thing for me. They released me from that particular social terror, which was not the paranoia of my own mind, but a real social danger visible in the face of every cop, every boss, everybody. I don't know what most white people in this country feel, but I can only include what they feel from the state of their institutions. I don't know if white Christians hate Negroes or not, but I know that we have a Christian church which is white and a Christian church which is, which is black. I know, as Malcolm X once put it, that the most segregated hour in American life is high noon on Sunday. That says a great deal for me about a Christian nation. It means that I can't afford to trust most white Christians and certainly cannot trust the Christian church. I don't know whether the labor unions and their bosses really hate me. That doesn't matter, but I know I'm not in their unions. I don't know if the real estate lobby is anything Ooh, against black over. people, but I know the real estate lobbies keep me in the ghetto. I don't know if the, if the Board of Education hates black people, but I know the textbooks they give my children to read and the schools that we have to go to. Now, this is the evidence. You want me to make an act of faith, risking myself, my wife, my woman, my sister, my children, on some idealism which you assure me exists in America, which I have never I seen. Merton, with respect to social structure, According to Merton, social structure refers to the patterned and organized arrangement of roles, statuses, institutions and groups in a society. In a very simplified manner, something which we could see, something which, with which we identify with, Merton is bringing it before us. Roles, how many kinds of roles we play, role as a father, role as a teacher, role as a doctor, role as a father, statuses, how many statuses we enjoy, sometime head of the family, sometime at, at the bottom of the hierarchical social structure, institutions and groups. Now, Merton also brings manifest functions and latent functions with respect to social structures discussion. We are not going in depth here because I am just introducing you with the word social structure and how you should be able to connect it with the sociology which we are going to study further. I am not going into detailed discussion what Merton has discussed regarding social structure. So this is not suffices Merton's discussion and we will also separately study about Merton. Merton brings one very important point. This is something with which you can connect the Tare Zamipe section, he says that there are culture goals which we are supposed to achieve and there is an institutionalized means. If it is not there, what happens? If it is there, what happens? And then Merton argues that there is an individual adaptation which is happening like child was adapting, father was adapting, school principal was adapting, mother was adapting and adaptation he divides under these heads conformity, innovation, ritualism, retreatism, rebellion. So the child starts with conformity enters into innovation and goes to rebellion. In the same movie, these entire scenes are put up. 
so you could see that even in a smaller situation there is so much of social structure to look into and until unless we connect the concept of social structure with entire sociological study we will not be able to justify the usage and the meaning of this word this is such a enlarged word talcott parsons brings us the concept of structural functionalism parsons discusses that there is a interdependence of various social institutions in maintaining social order and stability this is one concept which is connected to structural functionalism and with respect to social structure parsons also discusses that personality and social structure has a connection just like i showed you the image of the father his personality how he trained himself for that through social structure how his son the elder son who was in that car will get trained through the entire engulfing social structure so now the question is how social structures are maintained who enforces social structures over us how social structures functions smoothly here comes the concept of panopticon provided us by jeremy bentham this concept understand this as a concept there is a central place from which each prisoner could be watched continuously constantly for 24 hours throughout day night months years how it would instill conformity into the prisoners panopticon the gaze when society gazes us we cannot gaze back into the society the male gaze working on females of the society that place is not appropriate to wear such and such dress the gaze who is creating this social structure how it is maintained this social structure thank you very much for joining me in this discussion about social structure understand this that through this lecture we were just trying to understand the meaning of the word social structure we have still not started with the sociological discussion which we are supposed to do with respect to this very important concept of sociology social structure this discussion is going to help you into studying sociology studying about marx studying about structural functionalism studying about symbolic interactionism so this is just the starting base and we'll continue with our discussion but for the purpose of exams this suffices your discussion but for the purpose of sociology we are still not started with the discussion thank you thank you very much for joining me